Okay, now I'm going to show you, Joel, what I'm seeing in your energy. But first, I'll show you, just standing there, how your energy tests. Okay. Which is putting this arm straight out. I'm going to push down. You push up. He's nice and strong. Now, I'm going to have Joel walk to me. You walk to okay. me, Joel. And now we're going to put your arm up again, and you push up with all your might. All right. And I'm going to show you that you can't hold it up. No. I'll just do it with two fingers. Whoa. And so it isn't a muscle test because it's, it's how the energy is flowing through the muscles in the arm. And you lose energy when you walk forward. Now walk backwards. All right. Okay, now put your arm up. And he's very strong walking backwards. That means that uh, your meridians, which have definite direction that they travel, 14 of them travel in a certain direction, yours are traveling backwards right oh, no. now. <laughs> <Yes>. Help! Help! <laughs> which simply means that you don't have all the vitality you might like to have right now. And in a short uh, time frame, that's all it means. But if it becomes a habit, and the body tends to hold on to habits, then you could get sick, or you could get depressed, or you could just feel off and you can't think right, or things like that. So you want to fix that. So I'm going to come right to your collarbone. If you come to your collarbone, the corners of your collarbone, and then drop below them. Let's see, where's yours? Right there, right below the collarbone. And I'm going to massage those points. And they tend to hurt if you need it. That hurts. <laughs> it's tender. And it, yeah, it's tender if you need it. And it won't, you won't feel a thing if you don't need it. But now walk to me, Joel. Now put your arm up and push up. It, those points, they're called K27, the 27th point on kidney meridian. It flips energies around, so suddenly they're going forward. And you just press. You, you, I, yes, I massage them. Yeah, press and rub around. All right. You can also tap them. Okay. Okay. Breathe and tap. Okay, that's the first thing for you. All right. Now, can I show you something else yes. that you need? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, let me see. So, we, we know we're starting strong on you. Yeah. Now, I'm going to come along and just lovingly smash your nose. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go like that. I'm just going to push in on your nose and see if you lose energy. And you do. Now, that one is really important. And you want to do this every single day because I have this feeling this one's probably habitual. Okay? There is a meridian that runs up your spine from your tailbone. It goes straight up the back, over your head. Now look, I'll show you. And it comes down to the back of your throat. If I test here on your forehead, you're fine. I'm just going to keep going. And then when I get to your nose, it starts Whoa. to lose it. And that will go all the way, Whoa. all the way, It'll even to your top lip. You'll Because because we're a nation of people who think and are staying up in their heads. So in our culture, that energy didn't stay connected. So people then get out of touch with their bodies. They don't know, they don't know how to hear their bodies, what their bodies are saying. But if you put one finger in your belly button, Joel, right. and one finger here, what is called your third eye, and pull them both up, this is one of the best things you can do for yourself every single day. You'll be able to think better. You'll be more coordinated. You'll have more vitality. And you'll be less likely to get sick or get a cold. Wow. Yeah. It doesn't matter which hand? No. And what it does is it hooks this other energy up at the back of your throat. And when, when they stay hooked up, then, then this energy feeds all the other energy systems in your body. Now I can smash your nose, and you'll see you're strong. So yeah. that one, you, want to, you don't want to get out of bed without hooking yourself up. All right, <laughs> okay. all right. OK, you want one more thing? Sure, one yes, more anything thing. else. OK, I want you to put your fingers right there. Right here? Yeah. Can you see this arm? Okay, so I'm going to, you hold that. I'm just going to push your arm down, you push up, okay? Right. Okay, you're not terrible, but you're not great at this either. <laughs> and you know how the apes thump their, their, <laughs> thump their chest and Tarzan? Well, 
right there we have a gland called the thymus gland and when you've been putting out a lot of energy and 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 uh, holding a lot of balls in the air and uh, a lot of pressure like that this gland um, it puts out a lot of energy to keep you well but you want to give it something so it can keep putting out that energy so if you tap it breathe and tap that's really good for your immune system. It literally makes T cells. And so it, it's really, really good. Okay, now put your fingers there again and hold. All right. Wow. Heal. So I'm curious, <laughs> when, when you see a person, what yeah. do you see? Do you see light, energy, color? It's always different because everybody's unique. Everybody is unique. But some, and, and, and I will, uh, if something's really off, that's where my eyes will go to. Um, sometimes somebody's aura will be really sort of cramped in on them, and sometimes it'll be out, sometimes it'll look flimsy, sometimes. But on you, what I saw is that your, your meridians that have a, meridians are the pathway that all the acupuncture points are on, mm -hmm. and they have a definite direction that they go. And what I saw was your meridians were running backwards. And how do you see that? They stream. They stream like ribbons. That's what they look like it, to me, like ribbons of energy just flowing. And they, because like, like stomach meridian is supposed to go down, yours was going up. And it was, everything was backwards, which means you've been working hard, you've been putting in a lot of time. Uh, your body says time for a vacation. But if you can't take a vacation, you ought to at least massage these points and keep yourself hooked up and thump your thymus. You know, Joel, I just told you some things that were off on you. I want to tell you, you got great energy. Okay. You've, got, you've got a violet life force, you know, <laughs> a, a wonderful energy that surrounds the rest of your aura that will, um, I don't know, you're an old soul for sure, but I will show you some things that are wonderful about you. If you hold both of your arms out like this, okay, hold them real strong and don't let me push down. You're very strong. I can even go down out here at the edge of your fingers and now hold. You're strong. Your aura is strong, which means when you have a strong aura, your body can take be impacted more before it falls apart. You know? So that's really good. It also, there's something in your energy that makes me want to come up and hug you because you have an inviting energy that is really, really wonderful. And so uh, other people, because they might feel that, might give you good energy, even though you don't consciously know it. There's a good energy that happens with you and other Thank people. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.